my channel. I'm so glad you're here today, or if it's your very first time, hi, my name is Anna, and I make Devo or devotional videos for girls. This series is called Hashtag Your Diary, and we're on episode or Devo 62. We are reading through the book of Psalms together and talking about what God is showing us about our emotions and our life experiences as we're reading. Actually, I'm super excited for this episode because Psalm 62 is the psalm we're reading today, and that is the psalm that, like, really inspired this whole series and it started when I was a teenager and I didn't even know that YouTube existed. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more Devo videos for girls and I do fun lifestyle videos on the weekends like Target hauls and morning routines, fun stuff like that. But like I said, let's go ahead and get into this Devo. Go ahead and grab your phone and pull up the YouVersion Bible app. It's a free download. Or grab your regular Bible and turn to Psalm 62. Pause the video here so you can actually take the time on your own to read this psalm. And then when you finish reading and you unpause the video, Video, we'll come back and we'll talk about what we read. All right, now that you've finished reading Psalm 62 on your own time, I want to share the verses that really have meant so much to me, like I said in the intro. They have revolutionized my life, and they're really, like I said, the inspiration for why I call my Devo videos hashtag Dear Diary. We're reading through the book of Psalms, and when I read Psalm 62 as a 16 and 17 and 18 year old, it made me start thinking about David as an actual person, not just like a biblical character or figure or like this historical person, but like thinking about him in the sense of, wow, he is talking about what's going on inside him, inside his heart, his emotions, his thoughts, his desires, his soul. And I want to share the verses that just popped off the page to me. My soul waits silently for God alone, for my expectation is from him. He only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense and I shall not be moved. In God is my salvation and my glory. The rock of my strength and my refuge is in God. Trust in Him at all times, you people. Pour out your heart before Him. God is a refuge for us. God is your rock. God is that solid, unwavering, unmoving place that you can just, like I said, you can put all your expectation and all your hope in. I used to picture this massive, massive boulder. When I was younger, my dad took me on a trip to San Francisco with my brother Isaac, and we were driving along the coast, along Highway 1, um, all the way down to like LA, and we would stop every now and then and go down these little like beach stairs, and then we would see these massive boulder rocks. They're like bigger than buildings, and the waves were just crashing on them and crashing on them, these huge like waves. If someone was in there, I think they would die. But those waves didn't do anything to that rock. And that's what I picture when I read the psalm, is God is our rock. He is immovable, he is steady, he is steadfast, he is protection, refuge, everything that we need. Then it says in verse eight, this is one of my favorite parts, trust in him at all times, you people. Pour out your heart before him. God is a refuge for us. I want to ask you today to pour out your heart to God. Whatever's going on, whatever you're worried about or concerned about or dreaming of or hoping for or longing for, yearning for, pour it out to God. We talked about prayer yesterday. This is your opportunity. It's going to be a chance for you to say, God, I really want to go to state. I want our soccer team to like dominate. I want us to win. God, this guy, I really like him, but I just keep feeling like on the inside that maybe I'm not supposed to be with him. Help me to have the strength to resist that temptation because I feel like you're telling me not to date him. This is your time to walk through life with God and pour out your heart to him and know him and be known by him. So that's what I have for you all today. Be inspired to live your life for God and to know him and to read your Bible and to cherish his words in your heart. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if it helped you out or inspired you or encouraged you or motivated you. And yeah, I will see you tomorrow. Can you tell I'm like super like excited and passionate? I just love this psalm. You're gonna find verses like this in the Bible. As you're reading your Bible, you are gonna find these chapters that make you come alive. They kind of like encapsulate your life purpose, your mission. So I will see you guys tomorrow with another episode of Hashtag Dear Diary. And thank you so much for watching. See you then, bye.